kick back and chill out to the mellow sounds of the singing DJs. Yeah. Coming to you from Station GHRT, G Heart. Yeah. Yes, sir, Barbarino. The happiness place on earth. <laughs> now, something heavy? Yeah. The reason that it's so important to analyze your life. The one guy, one big guy said, I forget what the big guy was. He said, uh, a, a life, um, an unexamined life is not worth living. Mm-hmm. That's what he said. Mm-hmm. An unexamined life is not worth living. Well, I don't know too much about that, but I think people are mostly interested in like losing weight and getting money and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. I think they relate on that level better. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of the same thing though. Mm-hmm. Because when you analyze and you find out why things are the way they are in your own life, Mm -hmm. right? You're telling stories to your head. Mm -hmm. And that's the way beliefs go in. They're stories, stories, Mm -hmm. stories. All all this Middle East stuff and all that, it's about stories that the kids were told when they were little until they're real. The, The imagination of human beings becomes... Real. It doesn't matter whether it's religion or what it is, Mm -hmm. but it's stories. So when you're analyzing and you're telling stories, Mm -hmm. get it? Yeah. I get it. Do you? The unexamined life is not worth living. (laughs) I don't think that's true because I don't think like a... Uh, you know, a caterpillar. Does he examine his life a lot? I don't think so. But his life is good. Yeah. Why well, leave him I alone? I don't like when people say things like that. I know. That's some intellectual freak, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what we do with them down here at Station GHRT? <laughs> we stuff them in the goddamn virtual haystack. <laughs> and they'd be lucky if they get out, right, Mom? Yep. <laughs> George Strait. We promised you George Strait, no, didn't we? No, not yet. It's my turn. Lion cheese. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> But you do it so rarely that I don't know. (laughs) It's uh, Patty Loveless. Yeah. Written by, I think, Bob Costas and... Yeah, I think so. uh, Harlan Howard, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Harlan Howard, definitely. Am I on the right key? Yeah. Boy, we sound like a band when I start up, don't we? Yeah. Now we're going to go to the D. parts of the band. <laughs> I'm trying to be the band, you know? Yeah. No, wait. That was good. It's coming. <laughs> and a funny man it'll be. It's going to be bigger than Lyle's. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> I'll end up with like 100 violins, like, wait. 
Yeah, oh yes. Biggest band in the world. I told you that at the beginning. Yeah. Once we start signing people up for Griffin Hearts. Yeah. 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 But it should be Griffin Hearts then, huh? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And uh, did I say some things? Oh, one thing for the the kids. Mm-hmm. The youth. The young today. Trying to make it in the music industry. Mm-hmm. I think I've kind of cracked Google AdWords. Yeah. So I can be, you know, as we go along, I'll tell them. I don't really want to talk about it now because my brain's in a, what you call a mind fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> From Google AdWords. <laughs> Google. <laughs> well, heh, did you hear that? <laughs> it's good, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Emotional attachment to goals coming up. <laughs> the show will start in five minutes. Oh, George Crate. Yeah. We promised it, and here it comes. Am I on the right key? Yeah. That's too slow. I came home from school one day with a shiner on my eye. 